I'm with Matthew from John Lewis, and they offer a free nursery advice service. Matthew, can you tell me what that is? Yes, basically, that is a, it's a one-to-one consultation. Uh, a couple can come into branch, and our experienced nursery advisors will show them around the department right. and compile a list which... Uh, friends and family can either phone or purchase online off the list it's kind of like a wedding list that we also do right. um, and basically that's that's pretty much the needs of what the parents will want for when the baby is due and when do they get all these products um, pretty much before the due date uh, once the list is closed we will then arrange delivery and send all the goods out for delivery and do they pick just one of each item or a selection? Uh, they could choose a, a couple of cot beds and a couple of car seats as well, and they can basically make their own decisions on whether uh, what one they would prefer after they've compiled the list. Um, we basically offer advice on all selections of cots and cot beds and prams and car seats, but it really depends on the actual uh, client's needs. Yeah. Um, and basically their methods of travel and also where they actually live. So obviously if someone was in a flat, you'd perhaps not recommend but show different prams to someone who lived in a four-storey mansion house. Well, exactly. <laughs> I mean, they, they'd be looking for a lightweight uh, pram, for instance. Yeah. So again, if they're using public transport or living in a flat and they've got some stairs leading up to the flat, they may not necessarily want a heavier pram. They may just want a lightweight pram, and that's yeah. what we'd recommend. So we're, we're offering partial advice on all the ranges that we have in branch. And where, if, for example, if I had family in Scotland and I lived in London, yeah. would they have to come to London to buy this? No. Um, like I said, they, they can just phone um, or they can go into their local branch um, and that's where they can actually buy from the list in the local branch or go online, like I so mentioned So any local well. branch with a nursery advice. Exactly. Is fantastic. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to get some impartial advice of my own. Okay, so we've got a couple of your products here. What would I use them for? Well, um, I would point you out to the bugaboo, first of all. Okay. Uh, you probably see them in the celebrity magazines, actually. Um, <laughs> How did you know not, I read them? Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> the, um, the Taylor fabric is a, is a plus for most people. You can, change, you can get different colours on the bugaboo. This one's San, I'm pointing out to you now. Um, we do pink fabric, uh, black, yellow, green... Uh, blue match your wardrobe yep, the, red also we actually do uh, different base colours as well so we can also get the base in a sand colour um, in the grey which you can see now we can also get it in a blue and a red as well ok and so is it just that or would that go on it at some uh, point you also get as part of the tailored fabric you yeah. also get the fabric for the seat unit okay. um, which basically what happens is the once the carry cots uh, you've finished using that, which will be after six months, yeah. um, you take the fabric off because it's velcroed on, and you basically uh, you put the seat fabric onto here. Obviously, we, we've got a, a separate frame to display that, yeah. but basically the fabric would just velcro on to the unit, and obviously you, you'd use that up to uh, until they're walking, obviously. Which we never know when that Which will we be, never know. <laughs> you see, you see children going around when they're eight still in a buggy. Yes, you do. Exactly. Well, that's my <laughs> um, and this one over here. Yes, the Quinny. Um, basically, again, you've got a carry cot there that will go onto the chassis um, up to six months, and then it will go on um, the car seat unit. Will go onto that. Um, we do have a car seat which goes onto both of the chassis, okay. um, the Bugaboo and the Quinny, and that's the Maxi Cozy, and I can show you that in a second when we go around to car seats. But uh, there's specific adapters which will go onto the chassis on, on both of those items. And what, why is that good to have a car seat adapted? Well, it's just the flexibility of being able to take the baby out of the car, and if they're asleep, you don't really want to yeah. disturb them, so you just put them straight onto the chassis. And, um, and away you go. Exactly. Got it. Exactly. Right, well, let's take a look at that one now then. Okay. Okay, so this is the Maxi Cozy. Yeah, this is the one that I mentioned about going onto the Bugaboo chassis right. and the Quinny. Um, it's from uh, basically from birth up in, uh, this is a zero plus, so you're looking at about a year to, to 15 months, depending on the weight of the baby. So we only go up to 13 kilos, so the baby has to be 13 kilos. Once they outgrow this one, they then go on to a group one stage, 
which is uh, it's, it's an overlap of 15 kilos to 18 kilos. But uh, we also have one here. Yes, this looks very intriguing. It is. It's um, 660 pounds, um, but it's well worth the money. Um, this, I believe, has been made out in the uh, Far East, and they've basically done tests and found that... Uh, the baby should lie flat, really, um, because it can be quite restrictive when a baby's slouched over in a, in a car seat. So the, the whole principle of this is to have it in a lie flat position, because, again, in a normal car seat, they can only really be in it up until two hours, whereas this, you've got the flexibility of a longer period of time, especially if you're travelling a lot, then, um, obviously, you can, you can have this in your car seat, uh, in the car. And it goes sideways on. Basically, so, yeah. yeah, this goes against the seat. Yeah. And then, obviously, you've got it in the, like, a carry cot position. And um, there's three different positions on this car seat. I sensed it did more. It did. OK, second stage, please. So, the second stage is that you pull this up. That yeah. locks into place. And it's basically on a 360 swivel. So, this would be the next stage, which is rear-facing. And this will go up to a year old. Right. And then... Doesn't stop I'm there. very excited already. The next point is the, the forward facing. Obviously, you won't have these bits in, this is just for the carry cot, but basically, you would re remove these as well and, uh, and lift them up to here because obviously, the child would be a lot bigger. This is yeah. only for a small baby. So, group one stage, forward facing, and you're up, up to four years old for this. So, you're going from birth to four years old. So, you're cutting out two, two car seats really. If you're just going for this one one product. So if someone wanted to be really nice and treat the happy couple. That's it. Six hundred and sixty pounds is the price okay. tag. But they're saving money in the long run. Of course they are. So it's something that are. you might still recommend to everyone Definitely. because you would be saving money. Definitely. And then after the four years old, you then go into a group two and three stage, yeah. uh, which is up to obviously um, you're looking at about six years old for a two, for a two and three. Um, the headrest lifts up, right. um, but they obviously with a new law coming in on the 18th of September, yeah. you have to have a, a booster seat now up to the age of 12. It's 135 centimetres, so uh, basically the they have to have a booster seat with that, uh, right. with a child, and it's just an ordinary uh, adult seat belt on this one. There's no harnesses or anything like that because the child's obviously big enough to be uh, yeah. restrained with an adult belt. Fantastic. All right. Well, I think I've had. All the advice that I pretty much need, impartial as it was. Thank you very much. Thank you.